Every three minutes, a person in the United States is diagnosed with a blood cancer. Team in Training is a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping find a cure. Reporter Carla Gutierrez has more on the story. Team in Training means my life. In 1997, Virginia Gardner was diagnosed with a type of leukemia known as chronic myeloid leukemia. And in 1998, she entered a clinical trial for a drug that was funded by money raised through a program known as Team in Training and has been cancer free since then. If it weren't for the people who came before me in Team in Training in the 1990s, working hard to raise the money that they did, I wouldn't be alive today. Team in Training is a fundraising program for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society that helps raise cancer fighting dollars while helping individuals complete endurance events like marathons. TNT offers experienced coaches and a group of support staff that will help prepare individuals cross the finish line of a half or full marathon. TNT campaign director Sarah Clark says the team and training experience is like no other. It's a life-changing experience for patients and their families, but also for people who are actually out there on the trails and running and raising money and cycling and swimming and doing all of that. People run for different reasons. Some participants run to achieve their own personal physical goals. Some run in honor of someone battling cancer, while some run in memory of someone who has lost their fight. Since Team in Training was born, TNT has helped train over 600,000 participants in endurance events such as marathons. Team in Training has been training participants for more than 25 years and has raised more than a billion dollars. Teammate Virginia goes on to say that Team in Training is more than just a running team. It means family to me. It means purpose. It means life-saving, it means strength, it means proving that you can do something you may never have thought you could do, and it means love. From Los Angeles, I'm Carla Gutierrez, Valley View News.